Hi, spiritual superstars. I'm Nicole. Let's begin. Remember, you want to type in your one, 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 ones, four ones, the opening of the spirit realm. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Challenge your human, kissing your higher self, connecting with divine source. All things positive and blow it out. Pulling all that beautiful, good, divine energy to you and through you. Well, dear loves, we have an amazing week ahead of us. Now, watch your communication. Hang on to your finances unless you research something and Spirit sends you your spiritual guidance, your synchronistic messages. Go for it. If it's brand new and you don't know anything about it, such as a business venture, an opportunity that you feel, oh, I need to do this, I need to do it, wait because you might have buyer's remorse. Just give it a little while and whoever is giving you that offer, presenting it to you, if they don't understand, then you definitely want to take that as a red flag. And if they come back with something that is pleasing to your soul, such as I understand, let's follow up, when is a good time for you, then put it on your calendar and go for it once the energy is uh, turning direct and you're you're more forward thinking and clear and uh, everything looks good so we have our pick three for our weekly placement number one placement number two placement number three we also have our beautiful new beginning in love and money so this is really a time where right off the top you want to we all do want to take our steps, leap of faith into this beautiful new business venture, this thing that really says, you know, work hard, play hard, but also this next step in love, whether it is changing your appearance, whether it is starting to date, whether it's just opening up to the possibility of love, whether it is doing your self-development, okay? This is a really good time for you to engage in a powerful step forward when it comes to secure and stable love and more income. Placement number one, placement number two, placement number three. But right now, let's go and share with everybody our moon's energy of the week. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for blessing us. Thank you so much. This is a good time. Some of you are needing to go to your bank account and just ledger it. Write it down every day. Writing down what is in your bank account because I feel like there's going to be a surprise um, withdrawal and you need to be on top of it. So make sure you're checking your bank balance every single day. No matter what you feel is... If, you, if you're into that spirit of lack and you don't know it, then you have a fear of checking your bank balance, okay? If you are in that abundant, infinite um, energy of growth and you know that that abundance is coming to you and you're, you're calling it to you, then you're like, oh, sure, let me check my bank balance. A absolutely. You want to just write it down every single day. Every morning we make it a habit to check our ba bank balances my daughter said the other day, did you check your bank balance today? I'm like, oh, I got to get on top of it. She was like, yep, and don't forget to write it down. <laughs> Thank you so much. She's like, mama, I did. I'm like, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Some of you are understanding that um, you really do want to have companionship, but that I feel like you want it the way you want it and you're starting to see that you don't have to have it the way that you were taught you have to ha you had to have it. And this is from the school of life where you've just been beat, 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 beat down 
by certain people and people that just cannot commit to you and you guys just can't come together. It's like you can't get over that bridge of being friends and lovers and really respecting each other's wishes and just being okay holding hands in public and really being acknowledged in that role that you really do want. And so this is a time where you really are able to really pull back and let your cup be filled up of self before you decide to give um, to someone else. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Some of you also are understanding that um, this is just a time for you to welcome the love that's been coming to you and to understand that, you know, it's okay to welcome that type of love, that it is true love, that it is real, that it is you're worthy of that type of love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, all right. So with the new moon and Pisces energy, that is that understanding of um, just be, really being spiritually grounded, I feel, also. But it's a time to get in touch with yourself. That energy is... A renewal of self it is an understanding that you can be yourself and be appreciated for who you are and that you don't have to settle for anything that's outside of your values or your standards or your requirements and um, just being hurt you know a lot of you that are tuning in are just recognizing that you know I'm just done being hurt I just don't want to be raked over the the holes anymore and I really feel like this is a great time to just reestablish a stronger sense of self and healthy selfishness and what I mean by that is you're just able to just pour into you and allow people to give to you not necessarily anything in particular but just to just even check up on you sometimes you go you know on a trip and you just want that safe travels and you want that extra that extra sh show of compassion from the one that you have an, your eye on or your significant other just to say well I'm just checking on you you know you know and, and you know how are you feeling you know where are you at in your journey what eggs did you just pass just that extra show of, of I care about you you know call me when you stop off for gas or just those little things mean so much and so meditate and contemplate on what your requirements I feel what your standards are in relationship and what your boundaries are what it is you really do want because as you're seeing here you know you are enough you are good enough with this full moon and Virgo type of energy this is a um, understanding that yes uh, at the end uh, it's the end of that tough cycle in love and money so this can also be the understanding that I feel like many of us are coming in to this reality that even though we're in a pandemic not everybody is feeling broke this is really a beautiful time to start your business. And um, business, business ownership is definitely something that you want to be looking into. The end of a tough cycle is approaching, meaning 2021 is right around the corner. But this is the fourth quarter, and this is where business owners are like, yes, we are just feeling on top of our you know, game. We are pulling in revenue, we are really succeeding, we're putting in a lot of work, and um, that effort is going to pay off, and we know it because we're forecasting, which means we have taken an analysis of prior quarters or prior um, profit and loss statements or prior income statements, revenue, um, returns on investment, um, expenses, all that stuff, we have really 
taken um, a close look at the numbers, if you will, and we know where we're going because we have a plan and we're going to work that plan. We're going to plan our goal, we're going to work our goal, and uh, or work our plan, and we are going to follow a proven system. We are going to have a routine. We're going to stay consistent. And so there is the end of um, the beginning of the pandemic when, for example, clients, customers um, were kind of going through. You know, everybody, a lot of people were just, just lost income overnight. So just know that whatever side you are on this, the tide is changing and be open to the business opportunity is coming into you this week in particular because, honey, when, when spirit says the tide is changing, the tide is shifting, all right? So contemplate, meditate on where it is you want to go um, in your business, career, life. If you're trying to build that exit strategy, you certainly um, are going to be met with some amazing business opportunities uh, this week. And uh, you really want to give that consideration. All right. So remember, placement number one, placement number two, placement number three. All right. Let's go ahead and let's choose one of the placements. Where is Spirit sending you? And then we're going to go ahead and ask spirit to give you one of these beautiful energies of spiritual guidance so ready take a beautiful deep breath in and listen to spirit Okay, what did Spirit tell you? Please write it in the comments below. I am hearing two, two, two. I mean, two is all in my eyes. It's in my ears. It's all in my soul. Which one are you hearing? Let's go with placement number one first. Oh my gosh. Okay, so release. This is definitely time for you to get through the end of that tough cycle and uh, let it go just say that I am not bringing this into this week I'm not bringing that tough energy I'm not bringing the past um, forward I'm going to let it stay um, in the past I want it to go back from whence it came I'm going to tell that energy go back I want spirit to help me release it and this is knowing that um, you're ready this is letting go and letting God, and this is being renewed. This is being reborn. I'm seeing the snake shedding its skin, and you can be extremely vulnerable when that happens. And um, it is an incantation, which means whoever, you know, vibrated with placement number one, honey, be open to the beautiful blessing that comes in this week because you are going to need to let go of the worrying, the doubt, the second-guessing yourself, the need to validate from other people. And we're going to go over our love specifically in just a moment. But it's time. 13 only comes in when you are absolutely ready. You are capable of letting go of the past, letting go of the pain, letting go of the instability, the lack of uh, um, financial wealth and uh, sound business ventures you might have tried it all and you're just like i don't want to hear anything else about another business venture you can let all that go because the end of that tough cycle is done you are now welcoming in a brand new beautiful cycle of wealth and abundant energy in your love life and your business life right there so sacral chakra with the spirit of two also this is that help that you've been seeking. That means that you've got a good coach, a good mentor. You've got um, someone there that is supporting you. You've got a team. You've got uh, really good help. This is a, a beautiful partnership 
in love and money. And so Spirit's saying, master your emotions. Get a hold of them. If you're hearing you t your, your human, you know, kind of, just kind of freak out, then you tell your human, hold up. We, we got to get it together now. Come on now. We can do this. We can do this. And this is simply where we house our emotions. And it is our mental health. It is our emotional health all in one. And just remember that you can always hold on to something orange, tangerine, and hue, and just kind of pull from that energy. Take a beautiful deep breath in and absorb that energy. Just touch it and allow it to consume you within and fill you up with that beautiful, vibrant energy. And so that you are calm again and you're grounded and you can get through the next moment. Dreams do come true, placement number two. With spirit, with the spiritual meaning of seven, this is understanding that you can have exactly what you want. It's in the grasp of your hands. It's in the palm of your hands. And I feel like this is, this is just abundant energy. What is it that you want? You must, ex you must focus on it so it will expand. With seven, you're going in the right direction. Whatever business opportunity comes to you, whoever wants to take you on a date, whoever wants to get to know you more, welcome that energy. Just hands open wide in that supportive energy of two and allow that beautiful energy to come in and bless you. Don't be closed off to it. Uh, I do feel like you're going to be cautious naturally, um, but I do feel like just that Saturn energy of do it right, do it right, do it right, and you've just been, you know, beat down, you know, and stabbed in the back and just treated unfairly and treated poorly uh, taken for granted, taken advantage of, um, you know, uh, maybe in love you found that you just haven't been able to um, have the type of committed relationship that you desire from another and just, you know, really could have those trust issues. Focus on that which you want to manifest. Make the decision to move forward and take that leap of faith. Because, honey, when I tell you that it's time, I mean, spirit is really shining on you here. This is a beautiful time for you to be open to the love and the guidance of giving and receiving and being a blessing to others and letting other people bless you. And knowing that this is expansion. This is abundant energy. So that's that's just beautiful. Whoever felt placement number one in your energy and your soul, oh my God, that's beautiful. Get over yourself if you have been feeling like you can't take that leap of faith and you've been fearing that jump uh, into your wealth, into your business ownership, into welcoming um, the hard work that you've got to take to get there, welcoming uh, the type of love that um, takes that work but is so worth it. Oh my gosh, because it's here for you this week. I mean, that next step is right here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please show our spiritual superstars for placement number one. Their spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. Oh, wow, you got two. And there's another two on there. Thank you so much. So let me just see. Look at that. Illuminate. Illuminate. This is placement number two. I mean, the placement number one, but this is spiritual meaning to two. And you know, again, that's the giving and the receiving. That is that harmony. It is when you don't have to struggle anymore because you've got that support from another and you've asked for it. So now Spirit says, you know, you asked, be open to receiving it. You are a shining star. In truth, 
You were born to illuminate the world with your light. The time has come to get out of your own way and allow yourself to be all of who you are meant to be. Remember, it is only the thoughts in your mind that hold you back. And it takes a lot more energy to hold yourself closed, spiritual superstar, than it does to let yourself flow open. This energy, dear love, is asking that you allow yourself to take up space to open yourself up and illuminate this world. When, and you've got that blossom there. That energy is awesome. I can't wait to see placement number two and three. Oh my goodness, let me see what 42 is all about. Now this is, yes, the heavens and the earth and all of the energies opening up to you to receive that, that abundant energy that's coming in from another. So honey, this is divinely timed and divinely ordained and there is a need to really work life balance, but to play hard because you worked hard. And so expect to not accept anything that is a get rich quick a money-making pyramid scheme, something that says, oh, give me a $1,000, I'll give you $10,000. Um, you know, anything that says you've got to uh, take a second mortgage on your house in order to see a return on your investment, no, uh-uh, that's not it. This is that balance and the abundance coming from I'm putting in the work, I'm going to work hard so I can play hard, I'm going to work hard so I can get the type of results that I really want. This is light body guide. Lately, you may have noticed some strange things happening within you, spiritual superstar. Your light body is moving into a higher vibration. And as this shift occurs, you may not feel like your normal self. Well, this energy has come to let you know that being absent-minded, forgetful, unclear in your thinking, or feeling heart palpitations and other strange sensations is perfectly normal right now. Light Body Guide encourages you to drink lots of water and get plenty of rest. The butterfly, dear love, over his heart is a symbol for you to contemplate. He is here to reassure you that you'll be back to feeling normal very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And where is my energy for my love? Oh, there it is. Okay. I couldn't remember where I put it, spiritual superstars. I got it, though. Here it is. All right. Oh, I just heard that the love is for everybody. So let's go ahead. We will do our love after we get um, to show placement number two and placement number three, their energy. All right. Ready, placement number two? Here we go. Ooh, I'm excited. Who else had placement number two? Put it down there in the comment section. All right. Listen to our intuition. We have three here. And the spiritual meaning to three is we've got this new foundation that we're building. I certainly resonate with that. Um, the solar plexus is your intuition. It's your instinct. It's your intellect as well. And this tells us to balance out our analytical thinking, our human logic, which could be a little off right now. Um, and to really watch the decisions we make and make sure that we are trusting our internal spiritual compass, our connection with source. And uh, when we don't feel like we are clear, we feel a little foggy, um, even fatigued, uh, to definitely touch something yellow, uh, sunny, and pull from, you know, that energy, pull from it and uh, allow that energy to really fill you up right now. But certainly call on source for your spiritual guidance, for confirmation and validation before you make those um, very important decisions this week. Solar plexus, that's really big because where we're sourcing 
our intuition um, from and our intuitive nudge. That is that just that knowing that this feels right. It doesn't look right. It feels right. And so I'm going to do it. Uh, we source that from our source of found, our foundation, our muladhara, our root chakra. So if you're feeling less stable and secure in your home life, um, or if you feel like your, your money makes you feel more stable, or if your love, you're not feeling so stable and secure in your love life, then that's going to cause you to make decisions based on that. So you really want to make sure you, you pause before you um, make that de next decision. And you just give yourself some patience there. Give yourself time and know that as long as you are consistently moving forward, then uh, you're doing everything you need to be doing. Sometimes you just have to pause and park that decision until later because you might not have enough information. But make no mistake about it, place number two, we are forming a new foundation of solid, um, ex excellent ingredients, meaning we've already received the help from placement number two. We've, we've received that giving and receiving, that support. We have already tapped into this beautiful team of networking support, of people that have your back, um, and the ability to really pull from our spiritual team as support when we don't have the human support in our environment, in our business venture, in any projects we've got going on in our spiritual journey. When you find that people don't understand you, you've got your spiritual team right there with you, locked in, and you're able to call on them, okay? At the end of the day, just remember that it's all about love. Uh, this is an energy to, to also balance it out with your the children in your life. Um, I certainly resonate with this so deeply. Today I just went to get two um, games after yesterday we had a serious hour and a half. <clears throat> excuse me. Or it was today. It was like an hour and a half conversation to just um, come back into love with our family. Um it's really tough right now. We, uh, our matriarch just ascended on. And um, at the end of the day, we've got to remember that everyone grieves differently. And um, it's really hard. We were all very close to my mama in different ways. And she just poured into us. And she poured into you too, spiritual superstars. Uh, many of you knew my mom. Many of you uh, were blessed by her presence in some of our programs at Spiritual Guidance Academy. Um, she certainly is my spiritual teacher. She always will be. And now that I know she is my uh, queen mother, I just, I'm in awe. But at the end of the day, remember with the spiritual meaning of six, that balance of work-life balance and also listening to the wisdom of your heart chakra, I feel. Um, but also remembering that, you know, kids do come with some knowledge and wisdom. Listen to them. They are the most connected to source. They are specifically chosen. And we have to really encourage them. And as adults, I feel like even if you don't have your own children on earth yet, you certainly are responsible for other people's children, people, children that are assigned to you for you to help and to mentor and to make sure that they are protected and not abused. So at the end of the day, just remember the decisions we're making is out of pure love. Remember, we're meditating, we're contemplating on that as well. And so just remember that, that let that pure love, pure heart love, really lead you to the next decision. Show compassion for yourself and for others and uh, just really focusing on that harmony that we strive for each and every day. Oh my goodness. Beautiful energy here, right? Coming together, another spiritual uh, meaning of the number two. We know that that is coming together and that giving and receiving. Being a blessing to be a blessing. I felt that so much, um, you know, just being in the position that I am in, 
um, it just it feels so beautiful to be a blessing to others and it's just a it's such a satisfying feeling and uh, I you know I didn't you couldn't have told me five years ago that I would be where I'm at right now you couldn't have told me that I that things would come together as they have and so this is also in our heart chakra and uh, with this energy here you know certainly focus on um, renewing and uh, reigniting and uh, also just reestablishing the connection you have with another and knowing that at the end of the day any arguments that might have had any you might have had any disagreements um, no forgiveness is really strong it doesn't mean that you have forgiven them um, or it doesn't mean that you have really let them off the hook but you have forgiven somebody just to release that sadness and pain that you don't have to hold on to anymore of what happened in the past you know um, we can't forget things but we can certainly choose to release that energy and let it stay in the past so that we can move forward with love in our heart and our soul and we can just truly appreciate and respect each other for um, each other's differences and so this is signifying true love as well and if you feel like you're single and you want that companionship and no one is there right now this is a strong indicator and reminder to really love on yourself and allow spirit to love on you as well as others but contemplate remember when spirit said earlier what are your relationship boundaries your standards and your requirements and to know that this is a time this week to really take a step forward in establishing that um, for a renewed sense of self. Wow, base chakra, this is everything. This is where we really are pulling that sacral chakra from, our root chakra, our muladhana, and this is our foundation. So where we lay our head, where we start everything, our sense of um, placement in the fourth dimension that we call life and so at the end of the day remember that as we really focus on um, being of service being a service servant driven leader in business that um, if we're not organized in business if we are um, really needing our own stability our own security and love spiritual uh, life and mental health emotional health intellectual health uh, financial health um, it's going to cause you to make decisions and um, and in a in a certain way but always move forward with as much clarity as you can right here remember clarity is going to be um, a little funky so honor your intuition uh, and know that you know, through coming together out of love, um, it's going to positively impact your home life. This could be working from home. This can certainly be um, just reestablishing a sense of what home is for you and that home is where the heart is. And so this is really big for me. I totally resonate with this so much. Um, I've definitely been in... in contemplation and meditation mode I can just communing with the most high and with myself with my spirit guides with my mama and our home life just really uh, felt like a bomb went off and it just and we need to come together um, out of love uh, you know it's you never know how someone's gonna react to, to grief no or how they grieve you never grieve you never know how someone's gonna react to um, a human loss and the matriarch no less and it you know takes a lot out of you so thank you divine source I certainly resonate with my spiritual guidance for sure and I pray that you all do as well so let's go placement number three Remember, you are good enough with the spirit of 
the full moon and Virgo energy, okay? You've got all the resources you need right there within you. It's just a matter of you bringing them out and being patient with yourself to rebuild. Wow. So whoever had placement number three, you're also starting fresh in this balanced Libra new moon energy and you're rebuilding in your higher self. So where you have just reformed yourself, just renewed, just decided, you know what? I need a whole life refresher. And uh, with this tower kind of energy here, this is definitely happening when it needs to, right before 2021. So you could take your life back and rebuild successfully in the right type of business venture and all of your endeavors. This is love, money, spirituality, home life. This is a sense of self that is reborn. And being able to say, you know what? I feel that passionate about it. You know, I love me. And even though I'm not perfect, I've got cracks, I've got wounds that I'm working on. But honey, I'm going to rebuild stronger than anybody has ever seen, including me. All right. And you've got this. You've got this. This is a brand new start for you. And I love it. So reach out for help because it's you're going to have those rocks in the road. You've got three there. This is a strong foundation. Spirit is fortifying your steps. Okay, your steps are blessed. Remember that you are blessed and highly favored. Uh, it might be a little scary getting back out there in the dating scene. Um, you might just need to be loved on and not romantically, but just platonically. You might to love need to just love on yourself and feel God's love around you and within you. And, you know, also the diversity here, I love it. So be on the lookout for people that don't look like you, not in your normal circle. Definitely allow them to show you something new about life. Connect with those that are like-minded and look totally not like you. They might be uh, soulmates, but or soulmate soulmate energy, and live on the completely on the different side of the world. And uh, you might speak English, and they have broken English, or vice versa, in another language. And you find out that you two have so much in common. It's it makes you makes your soul shake, you know, but know that um, this is also that energy of giving to receive and giving without uh, any kind of connection to the outcome, but just allowing yourself to be open and vulnerable is allowing yourself to glow and grow into who you are becoming. It can be a little scary, you know, especially when you're rebuilding. And you've got to find that, you know what, I am good enough, placement number three. So to be able to tell yourself that, I'm good enough. And so I am going to reach out and help my foundation there with that red. That is your root chakra, so that is your home life. That is um, just how you feel about yourself and that self-love and being given to Um and just needing to reestablish that could be tougher boundaries, healthier boundaries, um, realigning with your standards of who you are becoming and who you are now. You might come into that awareness that you're no longer who you used to be. Wow, listening to the wisdom of your heart chakra. This is amazing because every single one of us has gotten a chakra here. And uh, the heart chakra, certainly with four um, this is not only our angel's number, but it is also letting you know that the universe is opening up to you to bless you. Every direction, every wind is here for you. This is meant to last. Longevity with four. And knowing that it's within 
your reach. Remember that you've got to feel it to believe it, right? Well, you've got to believe it to feel it. So both ways. So you have to challenge your human here to know that you deserve that type of self-love, that true love, that platonic love, that support, that sister love, that brotherly love. And it's so important in life. When we get older, we, we find that we might have two good friends, three, if we're really, 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 really lucky, you know? And just knowing that you have that support in another is a big deal. So accept it. Open it up. Open yourself up to it. Um, listen. And because you're gaining wisdom from the knowledge you're obtaining and share that with others hard work is paying off placement number three it, it does take a dedicated effort right it does take that that hard work but it's coming full circle and that's beautiful here as you can let me see it just kind of looks a little bit like a glare you're probably like why didn't she just change that earlier i'm sorry Let's see if I can get it to get a little bit better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That looks cool like that to me. It looks like the, the rays of, of God kind of shining down on their face. But it does take that hard work. It does take an effort. And this isn't relationship life. This is in your love life, your, your family life. This is in your work life. And certainly in your relationship with self and with spirit. But stay consistent. Be dedicated to having a really good outcome. And just pour into it so that you do see um, your return on your investment, which is your time, your, your energy. Again, your, your, your root chakra here with uh, really seeing the result pay off. Um, that's beautiful, beautiful energy. I don't think we gave placement number two or placement number three um, your spiritual guidance here. So let's go ahead and get placement number two. Lisa, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Okay. Ready? Placement number two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How beautiful. Just graceful. All right, and we have 10 here. So this beautiful new beginning is uh, supported by Divine Source with 10 here. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Beautiful card. So Spiritual Superstar, this is telling us you are an intricate being that is unique and diverse in your own special way. Spirit asks that you be gentle with yourself and accept the delicate nature of who you are. The spiraling energy is here to remind you that there is a great power and strength in your softness and it is here to assist you in healing on all levels. It is also here to remind you that you are a divine being of life who is as, as deserving as any other human being on earth. Smile and recognize your own authenticity and beauty in all your glory. I receive that. Placement number three. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, I love this energy. Lion guy. Oh, I love that. Placement number three. There, that makes 30. 
three, three, three. That's what that makes for you. You have 33 here. And let me tell you that that is such a beautiful number, triple three. The step that you take this week, I feel like it is such a strong cutoff from the past. And there's so much in wealth here. Please make that step. Take it. Um, I feel like this has just been something that you've been fretting. Like you are like, do I have to do it now? Um, it's going to be so much work. How can I fit it in? Um, and just make those sacrifices. Wow. You Let's go ahead. Lion Guy. Lion Guy is here. And, and again, when you're making those sacrifices, it doesn't sacrifice. You're not sacrificing the health or wellness or safety or security of your children, um, of your values, your standards your self-worth, your dignity, or anything like that. You're not putting anybody in danger, but you are sacrificing Netflix. You're sacrificing hanging out. You're sacrificing uh, spending money on uh, takeout instead of cooking. You're sacrificing um, hanging out with friends or just, um, just not doing anything productive versus putting in the hard work, dedicated effort to get that payoff. Lion Guide is here to help you awaken the sleeping lion that lies within you. Your inner lion is powerful, resourceful, and mighty. And then you get, you are enough. Isn't that your energy? Yeah, you are enough. You really do hold the strength and courage to do whatever needs to be done. It is time to let the world hear your roar, placement number three. Lion Guide is here to help you realize that you do rule your inner and outer worlds and to energetically claim your throne as the rightful ruler of your kingdom and queendom. Once you do this, you will step into your role as a leader with ease. Wow. When I tell you that this energy is phenomenal, place number three. I see why spirit has placement number two for me because I, I need it and I'm so grateful. But honey, I would have took placement number three. <laughs> placement number three, be clear about this, okay? Be clear that the crossroad is going to be there this week. You're going to want to go back here and play it small. You're going to want to go back to the familiar when it's toxic. You're going to want to do the easy route. But let me tell you what Spirit is showing me. Take the hard route because it feels right and you know it's the right thing to do. And you're tired of being stuck. You're tired of having to report to somebody else. You're tired of giving your reins, the reins of your life over to someone else, whether it be codependency on a partner, a spouse, parents, children, an employer, whether you are tired of staying in the same geographical location, whether you're just tired of not taking that risk after you researched it from top to bottom, this right here is take the hard route and live easier. Take the easier way out and live harder. Okay? If you do things, you take the easy way. Meaning you don't challenge your human. Life is going to be hard for you. If you do the hard work, stay committed, consistent, and you dedicate your time and energy, you get organized, and you say, okay, I'm going to work this part of my business at 6 a.m. If I get up late, 
and I blow it for that 6 a.m., I have not lost the day. I'm going to sacrifice what I was going to do for entertainment tonight, and I'm going to use that hour to work my business. Or I'm going to still do my entertainment because it affects my kids, and I'm going to spend time with my children, my family, or my partner. You know, we need to have quality time together. Or I really do need this self-development, this self-loving time. I need to get my hair done. I need to get my nails done. I need to just zone out. I need to go work out. Then I'm still going to make sure before I go to bed, I put that hour of work in. That's the sacrifice. When you're feeling tired, when you don't feel like doing it, you don't even feel like getting out, getting out of the bed that day. That's the sacrifice because you're going to work your business anyway. Placement number three, you about to, you about to soar. You about to get it, but you've got to put in the work to do it. All right, all right. So let's go with our love life. Thank you so much, Divine Angels. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please show all of us our spiritual guidance for this week. What are we looking at? Thank you so much. Ooh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is a new beginning in love and money. So be very open to where spirit is sending you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Woo! Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, goodness. All right, all right. All right, all right. Let's see what we've got here. All right, let's see. Spiritual superstars. Whoa, okay. Honey, when spirit talks. Wow. Oh my gosh. I knew that was coming out. That's awesome. So we're, we were told we don't need to sacrifice our values. Whoa, what a reading. Let me show you this to you. Um, I'm going to make sure that you see this. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I uh, turn the other light on. Would that make any difference? I hope that made a difference. Okay, so we do not have to sacrifice our values or standards in relationship life. Now, remember that, okay? All right, pause and look at that. Okay, so where we've been feeling any, you know, some kind of way, you don't have to compromise your values. Remember, you've got a strategy this week. This is a new beginning and how you choose to have your love life play out. Remember to look at your partner's side of things, okay? Compromise and see things differently. If you're single, remember to forgive and you don't always have to be right. Some things don't need to be said, right? So we're learning that and um, show, that's showing your strength. So remember, if you're dating, if you are preparing to get out there and date, if you are loving on yourself and relearning yourself, remember that um, every battle is not meant to be won and some of them don't need to be engaged. But this is a major decision forward in love with this beautiful new moon energy coming in with uh, Libra's loving energy. So you may feel out of sorts. Some of you are walking away from some toxic bonds. There are some really unhealthy connections. And you're just like, do I have to do this? Some of you are going to pick up and go in the middle of the night. 
some of you are wondering, dang, do I have to do this? I really love this person. I really feel like we are the best of friends. Um, but something's off. And Spirit talked about that earlier. So you've already been receiving these unquestionable signs that you've got to make that decision. Um, and some of you know that you're the third party. Some of you know this already, that you've been getting those signs, those messages that uh, they're seeing somebody else, you know, or that they flat out told you they want to date other people. Um, you might have gotten into an entanglement, you know. It might be something where a uh, family has gotten involved and they need to mind their own business. And so make sure that that deception is something that you're not trying to sweep under the rug and ignore because this week spirit is going to challenge you to really go in to your future clear and guilt free okay do not share all your business with everybody and be very selective about who has access to your personal relationship life and just be careful that you uh, are not in the entanglement purposefully. You know, that you're not the one cheating on your spouse or your partner because you will get busted with this being here, okay? So be careful. You got old ones coming in, exes coming on back in, that you look gorgeous, that you look so handsome, and oh, why didn't we ever make it to begin with? And all of that energy is divinely timed, so watch it. You need to focus on, okay, I know why we didn't make it. I know why we're not together. You know why we're not together. And uh, really go in the direction that Spirit's telling you to go in, which is healthy relationships. And so just pray for that void that you're still feeling um, because you're still holding space for someone in particular that is not for you. And you want to make sure that you're only holding space for the one that Divine Source has for you. So slow it down. Uh, you're going to notice that you're going back down memory lane. You are feeling uh, some ailments, some pain in your hips, pain in your lower back, pain in your shoulders. And Spirit's telling you, listen, I am giving you a metaphysical reaction to, I need you to spend time with me. I need you to spend time with your significant other. I need you to spend time with yourself. I need you to spend time with the kids. I need you to just chill out and reflect on where I'm sending you. Okay, so listen to your human because your human's going to be telling you, here, I've got new limitations, and I am preparing for something coming because I can feel it. And I am healing from this kind of connection, and I don't want this. You know, and so slow down and love on yourself. Let that be a new beginning in this beautiful new moon energy. You've got somebody coming. There's a block here, and it's intense. But with this energy, spirit is saying, hey, learn the lessons in relationship life before you move forward. What are the lessons that I've been sharing with you throughout these years? What is it? Is it the fact that you have spent so many years being the other woman? Is it the fact that you've spent so many years being the other man? Is it the fact that um, you have spent so many years sharing your business with your family, siblings? Um, is it the fact that your in-laws are way too involved in your marriage? Um, and so it's that... It's the stage of being able to have those tough conversations and patiently remembering that not every battle needs to be won and uh, you do not have to sacrifice your values or your standards 
but to reflect on what that is for you. Slow down, you know, reprioritize and uh, make that decision and don't try to brush it under the rug anymore and don't let your partner get away with um, not having the discussion because it's affecting your relationship. Um, I do feel that some of you are just recognizing old lovers that are coming back in and that are looking pretty attractive to you also as you look very attractive to them. Just know that that timing is timed perfectly so that spirit can show you exactly what you really do deserve by showing you and allowing you to feel the presence of what you don't deserve and what you don't want. So let's be very clear that this is a tough one for many of us, okay? You're going to be seeing, you're going to be thinking, you're going to be dreaming, you're going to be receiving messages from an ex, okay? You might see them active on social media. You might want to reach out to them. You're going to try to find a way to reach out to them. You're going to try to think of any conversation. You're going to try to do something. It's going to be, maybe it can work. Remember this, okay? Remember that spirit wants more for you. And remember that this is what's on the line. And so remember that when you've got these stages of soulmate uh, energy, use the wisdom that's gifted to you in your moments of solace. The quiet, listen to the silence to your benefit. Because Spirit is reminding all of us of the lessons that we've learned in relationship life. And so keeping that away, you know, this is also an energy of do we blame our current spouse or partner uh, for what my ex did? Uh, do I go into developing myself? Do I learn how to do relationship? Do I learn how to work on myself so that I don't blame my partner for the things that I need to do. I need to change. And so do I accept that? Do I accept that I might be with the wrong person? That I might have accepted um, that we were just physical and we didn't really love each other. We weren't in love. Maybe, um, you know, you have children even with someone that really doesn't and as much as this hurts never did want a relationship with you or you didn't want a relationship with so just be careful just be aware um that that energy is here and uh you know we're going to come out on top okay at the end of the day we're going to come out on top because there's a lot of change in the air and this is a good thing. Remember, we don't get any results until we decide to make that change, right? Well, spiritual superstars, I am blown away by our reading. I resonate with it so much. And I pray that you have found value in today. Please hit that thumbs up button. Um, and subscribe and come on back for more spiritual guidance and uh, type in the comment section what you would like to see happen on our channel. What can I do to help you? What do you need from me? And stay safe, stay healthy, and please be blessed. Love you. Mwah. I'll see you soon.